Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Dave from the Kodo, back with another uh, Harrison Jones daily. We're going to be doing Treasure Contract, the Artificer. The Artificer. Art Artificer. Yeah. We're doing this one. Um, so I'm in a uh, group right now to get the daily. I'm going to accept this. And then obviously go back to my garrison and leave the party because you cannot complete these while you're in a raid group or a um, maybe a group but not a raid group so I'm gonna leave the party and then I'm back to just by myself uh, so the first place we're gonna be going is the spires of a rock uh, and we're gonna head up here to find the missing artificer artificer Artif I don't know so we're gonna head up here I'll meet you there Alright, so the flight path that I actually took is on the border of Shadow Moon Valley and Spires of Iraq. Um, you want to take this one here. You'll see that it's right above the area that we need to go in. And we're going to head down here into the area, just kind of looking for the item that we need. And what's going to happen is eventually we're going to just, it's going to trigger for us. Just got it, um, and you'll see that a a marker showed up on our uh, on our mini map there. So we're gonna go to that. Now, if you are on a PVP realm, be careful of this area. It's one of the bigger areas for PVP. And we're gonna pick up this journal. That's what we need. All right. Now we move on to the second piece. So turn that in and take on the first fragment. And what we're looking for is a crystal shard. And what we're going to do is we're going to head down in here and we're going to go into this tunnel that's off to the left of the path that you were following. And we're looking for crystal shard. And there's going to be a uh, mob. It was killed before I came in here. So you're going to want to kill Lore Stone Fist. And it is a quest mob, so multiple people that are not in groups can tag it. And she just spawns right here in front of this big pile of um, crystals. And it's not, very, it's not a very deep uh, cave, so you, you don't have to go searching. And once you kill her, you're going to loot her, you're going to get the crystal shard, and we'll move on to the next quest, which is the second fragment. Now what we need to go do is we need to go kill Vok Blacktongue. So we're going to head out of this cave that we went in, and we were just up here for the first part, we're going to head down this way for the second part. And we're just going to follow this path down until we get to like, kind of like a, a village type area. Now, once you get into this village, you're going to be facing a decent amount of mobs, so be prepared. And what we're looking for is this first hut on the right here, and you're going to see there he is. We need to kill him. But we need to get to him first, so let's make our way in there. So let's kill Vok Blacktongue. And after you've killed them, you're just going to loot them and get that item. And then we're going to head on to the final fragment. So let's accept this and head to where we need to go. We're going to head up this uh, hill right here that's behind the hut that we were just in. You don't want to go past the cave. You want to take this first hard right and head up this way. So we're stealth by these guys. Yep. 
and we're going to continue our way up. So once we get to the top of this hill and you come through this, this giant archway, you can see that void portal. We want to go up this way. And there will be a couple of mobs, but we can pretty much avoid them there. And then at the top of this hill, you're going to see Koros, and we need to kill him. So let's do that. Now, Koros does have a little helper here. I'm pretty sure you don't need to kill him. You just need to loot Koros. Get that smooth crystal, and then you can run away from him. And then we just have to finish out the dream of Argus the Crystal Reborn. So we're going to head northeast some more this way to get to uh, a cave. So let's go. Down this hill. Hopefully avoiding as many fights as necessary just to make this a little bit quicker. And we're going to head down here. So we're going to jump down here, hopefully not die. Nope. Thank you, feline powers. And you're going to walk into this cave here, and you're going to see that there's the spot we need to go to. And now we use it. So we need to line these up. And it's a little difficult to see only because you need to line up the type of rune with that. So let's see here. Let's see if we can get this. One more click. So you'll see that's the same rune as that. That looks like the same rune as that. And that looks like that. So now we move to the outer ring, or the middle ring rather. Those two match that. And then we match them all up. So all three are the same matchup of the rune on the outside circle. And then we can grab this. And we're done with that quest chain. We can head back to the garrison to turn this in. Once you're back in your garrison, you can run out here. You can turn in your quest to Rakhan. Get your 150 gold and complete one more of the six Harrison Jones quests. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Check out my channel for some more tips, tricks, guides, and the other quests for this chain once I complete them and upload them. And like always, guys, good luck and have fun.